So today we're going to learn about shapes. Can anybody tell me what this shape is? No? You don't know? Let's see. Can we say it together? It's a triangle. Now your turn. Good job! It is a triangle. Can we all grab our pointing fingers and can we do a triangle in the air? Very great job, guys. So let's hang this one up. And this is a triangle. I know this one is very familiar. What is this? Okay, Emily, what is this shape? A heart. Very good job. This is a heart. Can we all grab our pointing fingers? Let's make a heart. Good job, guys. Let's hang this one. Okay. And who can tell me what this shape is? It is a happy face. You are right. But what shape is it? It is a circle. Where else do we see circles? Can you look around your room and see if you see a circle? Yes, sometimes clocks are circles. A lot of us have clocks in their house, right? So this is a circle. Can we use our pointing fingers? Very good job, guys. Let's hang this one. Who has seen this shape before? So sometimes you use a kite and the kite is a diamond shape. Can you say diamond with me? Good job! And can we use our pointing fingers? Great job, friends! Put it here. Let's see this one. What shape is this? A square. A square has four equal sides. Can we say square together? Can we use our pointing fingers to draw a square? This is a square. Now I'm going to show you the next one. Very similar. Does anybody know what this is? This is a rectangle. Just like our board, it is a rectangle. It has also four sides. And only the top and the bottom are equal, and the sides ones as well. We're going to learn about one more shape. Can anybody tell me what this one is? It's not a circle. It is an oval. Good job, guys. So we can see that all of the shapes we can see all around our environment. Now we're going to read a book to see what we can do when we find shapes. Everything is made out of a shape, right? See you guys later. We're going to read a book. Hi, friends. Good morning. Okay, guys, so now we're going to read a book about shapes. It is called Big Box of Shapes by Willie Blevins, illustrated by Elliot Krofloff. Who can tell me what shapes do you see on the cover of the page? Good job, Adam. There is a heart. And what other shapes are there? A triangle. Very good job, friends. Now, let's see what the book is about. Lulu and Max found a box. It was filled with many shapes. 
Ooh, Lola, there's my box. Lulu pulled out a. Who can tell me what shape did Lulu pull out first? A square. Then she took out a triangle. I'll put it on top, she said. What did Lulu make? <sighs> so we see that Lulu put out a square first and then a triangle. What is she making? Would you like to tell us the answer? A house. I will live in the house with my grandma and grandpa, said Lulu. What other shapes do we see that they added? A square for the windows. And what shape is the door? Let's see. Max took a big circle from the box. Then he added three small circles. Now it needs a smile, said Max. What did Max make? Good job, friends! A happy face. That makes me smile too, said Lulu. Look, yelled Lulu, a rectangle. She added two small circles and the square to it. What did Lulu make now? <clears throat> she used two circles, a rectangle and a square. Who can tell me what they think she's making? Let's see. Vroom, vroom. Put your hand up if you also thought that it was a truck. Good job, friends. Lulu shared her shape with Max. Thank you, said Max. I will use them to make a hat for my happy face. Lulu and Max dug deeper into the box. They found more shapes. Lulu made a kite with the diamond and a magic wand with the star. Max made a turtle with an oval and sunglasses with... What shape did he use? A heart. And how many hearts did he use to make the, the sunglasses? Two. Good job, friends. There are so many shapes in here, said Lulu and Max. Hmm, what else can we make? Does anybody have any ideas of what else Lulu and Max can make with the shapes? Yes, you can make flowers. You can make anything that your imagination would like, right? Lulu and Max stacked the shapes up, up, and up. And what did they make? Does anybody have any clues? No? Let's see. A, a, a big mess. All of the shapes fell. What shapes do you see? What can you make? Point, point, diamond! D -d 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 diamond! Point your finger one! 
two, three, four. Du, 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 diamond. Point one, two, three, four. Shake, shake, star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shake, shake, shake your hands. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Shake, shake your hands. Chew, chew, heart. Ha, 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 heart. Chew, 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 give a kiss. Ha, 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 heart. Chew, chew, I love you. guys so we have just finished the read aloud about shapes we learned about triangles squares circles and so many things that we can do with our shapes so once you have opened the link we're going to get started once you open the link this is the page that you should see who can tell me what was the first shape that Lulu took out of the box Good job, Adam. It was a square. And who can tell me what was the second shape you took out of the box? Great, friends. A triangle. And then she put the triangle on top of the square. And what did that make? A house. Correct, guys. And if you would like, there is a pencil here on the bottom and we can go ahead and draw a door and windows just like Lulu and Max did. Hi friends! So now that we've finished learning all about shapes, we know that we see shapes in all of our environment. If you look at a phone, a phone is a rectangle. If you look behind me, the board, it is a rectangle. This tape has a circle. Everywhere you look, you're going to see a shape. The, uh, if you see a big clock, it is usually a circle. A roof on the top of a house, it is a triangle, correct? So now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the piece of paper. It has four categories. It has a triangle, rectangle, square, and a circle. What you're going to do is walk around your house or look inside your room and see what you can find with that shape. I'm going to give you my example. When I walked around my house, I had toys that looked like a pizza slice. So that looks like a triangle, right? Also, I had toys that were like pies that is also had a triangle shape. Uh, I was walking around and I saw a Lego on the floor. That looked like a rectangle. And then I looked in my window and that looked like a rectangle too. And the door, that is a rectangle. So, now it is your turn. You're going to walk around your house and see what, you, what shape is the items that you're looking at. And then you're going to draw a picture or you can write it down as well, okay? Bye, friends! Hi friends, so now that we finished, here is my example. So for the family engagement, it will be a shape scavenger and hunt, just like we're doing prior to the closure activity. We're allowing the kids to walk around the house, to search around the room, and they can cut things out of pictures of, of magazines, of um anything that they have around their house or draw pictures, write the name of it and just of different shapes that they see around the house. For the follow-up extension activity, the students will have uh, snack, snack different days. Well, shape snack days. It will be, there will be circle days, triangle days, square days, rectangle days, and each of the days will have samples of what maybe parents can bring in if it's in the classroom or if it's online, what they can have for their children that day.